All right. Um, it says select the correct answer. And so uh, it says in the function above, the slope is multiplied by negative four and the y-intercept will be decreased by a unit of one. So let's look at this equation and try to figure out what this equation is. So this equation is going to look like f of x is equal to m times x plus b. And so when we do that, um, remember that m is the slope, which is the rise over run, and that plus b is the y-intercept, where it crosses the y-axis. So this looks like it crosses the y-axis um, at negative 2. All right. Now, to find the slope, that's not that hard. I'm just going to go from one point to the next. So it looks like it crosses here. So it looks like I'm going up 1, 2. That's my rise. So remember that the slope is the rise over the run. And oof, that's not the best. Rise over run, and so I go up two, and it looks like I go over four, right? So I go over one, two, three, four. Now that's a fraction, so I can reduce that. Two fourths, if I divide the top and bottom by two, becomes one half, okay? So I've got my slope and my y intercept. So, in other words, what I just figured out is this graph is the graph of the function. Uh, one half times x minus two. So if my slope is equal to one half and that gets multiplied by negative four, the slope of the new line down here would be negative four times one half. Well, one half of negative four is just negative two, okay? And then it says the y-intercept will be decreased by 1. So my y-intercept is negative 2. So my graph down here would be negative 2 decreased by 1, which is actually negative 3. So I've got a new equation down here that we'll call g of x. And g of x is going to be mx plus b, where m is the slope, which is negative 2 in this case, uh, minus 3, which is the y-intercept. So I'm going to look for a graph that intercepts at negative 3. This one intercepts at negative 1. It's not that one. This one intercepts at negative 3. It could be that one. This one does not intercept at negative 3. This one intercepts at negative 3. Now my slope is a negative 2. So that means that my slope should go downhill. And it should go down to over 1. So this is probably not it. But let me double check. So from here, if I go down 1, 2, over 1, I'm on the line. So this is the answer. Whoops, I'm running out of tablet here. Okay, and that's it.